Hello, Jason. Hello, yeah. John. Hey, how are you today? Really good. So, uh, John, uh, you're touring right now, North America. How's it going with that? We are in North America. We are um, touring quite well. Um, we're out with Corn on our Music as a Weapon tour here in the States, and i tell you what, man, it, the crowds are big, and the, the show is loud, and uh, couldn't ask for anything more. So the last time you came, you know, to Halifax, Nova Scotia is, um, what, two years now? You come in April 5th. What can we expect in the set list this time? Well, I think if you've seen Disturbed before, you've never seen us like this. We're bringing a level of production to, to Halifax that, that is beyond anything we've ever done before on tour. Um, we have a, uh, a video um, integration with the songs now that makes it to where even if you have seats in the back of the hall, it's still going to be an amazing show. Hmm. Uh, and if you're right up front, it's just going to be that much better. Um, in addition to that, you know, we're, we're obviously we're going to play all the songs that you know our Disturbed fans love us for. We're going to play hits off every record. We have songs off. We've been very fortunate to have you know a, a good career over the course of five records. Um, so we're going to play songs off The Sickness. You're going to hear songs off Believe. You're going to hear songs off 10,000 Fists, off Indestructible. And then, of course, the new record as well uh, is doing quite well. We've got um, our newest single, The Warrior, that we just put into the set list. Um, but we'll also be playing Another Way to Die and The Animal, which are, are the two previous singles. Uh, so you, you're going to hear you know, the songs that, that, that you know from the past, but you're also going to hear some of the new stuff that we've been working on. Now, John, is there going to be a video for The Warrior coming out? Uh, as far as the video um, for The Warrior is concerned, I think that's still being put together. Not sure. Um, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> You know, videos are funny sometimes. Um, it's a lot of times, you know, you want you want to go in and, and 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 make a vision for a video, but sometimes the costs involved with the video are almost as much as making an entire record. Um, so you know, we mostly like making music, and and making videos is kind of a secondary thing for us. Um, we've been fortunate to have some great videos with some of our songs over the years, but we've had plenty of singles that have gone without a, a video that have done well and that, you know, the fans end up doing lyric videos for and things like that. So uh, as far as the new video for The Warrior, I, I th we'll be putting something out. I'm not sure exactly when or what that's going to be yet. Now, you got the animal video. Like, how long did it take you to make this video? The quality is extraordinary, too. It's very good. Thank you very much. You know, we did that one, animal video, in Austin, Texas, with Daddy Van Productions. Um... And it t came together good, and it was just a it was just a three day shoot, or maybe it was only two day shoot. Um, no, it was three days. Uh, and 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 the band we as, as a band we were just there one day. Hmm. Um, and I thought that's one of my favorite videos actually that we've ever done, and it was filmed on location in Spiderwood Forest, just outside of Austin, Texas. Now, John, would you say uh, throughout the years of you know playing with Disturbed that the recording? You know, the way of recording changed, or is it uh, staying the same? Well, te the technology has made it easier to record. It's, it's you know, the, the digital factor, Pro Tools, and things like that make it to where you can pretty much record anywhere now. Um, you know, Dan does a lot of writing and recording in his house uh, with his Pro Tools rig at, at his own personal studio at the house, and then and then we'll go into, like, you know, a, a more of a full-size production studio, but a lot of his ideas that he initially writes will transfer into the main studio. Um, but as far as the, the, the process in which Disturbed records, that really hasn't changed. Uh, we, we put the music together. Uh, Dan does most of the guitar writing, and then he puts it together with me and Mikey. And once a, a good idea for a musical bed is, is composed, um, David gets in there and then starts writing his uh, uh, lyrics and melodies. We usually start with melodic ideas. And then... Um, and then, you know, we pretty much demo a song very thoroughly, um, it, it, you know, sending ideas back and forth via the Internet. That's what we do it now. But, I mean, it used to be we'd send ideas back and forth using CDs. So, like I said, it's the same, same process, just different technology. Um, and then eventually, you know, when, when we feel the songs, you know, we have a group of 15 songs that are ready to go in the studio, uh, then that's when we, we go ahead and, and, and track everything for real. But... Um, that process has been the same for Disturbed throughout the years. 
we don't usually write in the studio. The songs are usually written before we ever step in. So, so basically, for uh, also the bass equipment that you're you're bringing on this album, you know, is it the uh, the same, let's say, as an indestructible album? As a matter of fact, it's very similar. Uh, yes, it is. I use uh, the same amps and, and and the same guitars. I play BC Rich um, basses, um, and uh, I use a lot of the same equipment on both records. Yes. So you've been uh, endorsing uh, these companies for a long time now. Been with the companies of BC Rich for uh, about four years now. Um, previously, I had a bass with a company called Traven. But they're owned by BC Rich, and then BC Rich ended up um, just taking my design with Traven and selling it under their umbrella. So it's like working with the same company for the past four or five years, but only within the last two years has it become uh, the, the, the BC Rich brand on my instrument. Now, John, let's say with the fans going at the concert, filming concerts, what do you think of that? You know, Because then it gets leaked on YouTube and stuff like that. What, what's your take on this? I mean... You know, you're really not gonna not gonna fight people. You know, pulling out their iPhones and and filming sections of the show, and and people, you know, having their you know their personal cameras um, catching images. It's fine. You know, what it does is when when they put little clips up on on the internet, I think it makes people, you know, gives people an, an opportunity to check out. Oh, what's the disturb show look like? And it, I think it helps sell the show and actually brings people in to uh, to what we're doing. You know, it's. It's not like they're able to film, you know, a full-length concert documentary that, you know, they're going to be able to put out. It's just they're just showing, you know, the concert experience from their point of view, and I think it's great. The Internet's evolving. What do you think of that? Um, you know, I, th I think it's, uh, I think it's uh, as, far as, as far as the Internet's concerned, getting, you know, promotion out there for young bands, I think it's great. Um, as far as, you know, selling music, I think, you know, people still aren't really, you know, buying music anymore. I think a lot of people expect to get it for free. So, unfortunately, that makes it tough on young bands getting out there and trying to create a revenue stream and, and trying to, you know, get out on the road and, and um, you know, make a little money for themselves and, and, and be a business because, you know, you can't can't do it for free, you know, and especially young bands, you know, it's, t it's even tougher on them. So, um, you know, for promotion, I think it's great. Um, unfortunately, you know, I think a lot of people use those those free sites to, you know, get, get a lot of music and not actually, you know, pay for it. And and unfortunately, you know, the bands, young bands in particular, uh, end up getting, you know, getting the shaft on that. So, you know, I think they'll, they'll figure it out, though. They'll figure out how to, how to start selling music again a, a little more cost-effectively in the future. But, um, It can be tough sometimes, you know, because people are used to, they, they think, you know, they get music for free a lot, and, and uh, unfortunately bands really should be paid for it. But as far as a promotion instrument, I think the Internet's fantastic. It's the, best thing, it's the best thing going. Now, John, on the road you must be receiving a lot of gifts and CDs. Do you take a listen to this uh, stuff when you uh, do get them? Oh, you mean other bands? Yeah, and do, do you have, like, uh, stuff that's totally interesting? Uh, you know, I, I don't get as... As much as I, I do get sent stuff, you know, maybe via the internet, and sometimes I get some CDs. Um, but uh, you know, yeah, I'll definitely listen to um, anything that, that people hand to me. Usually, you know, I'll check it out and uh, give it a listen. And and yeah, I found some interesting stuff. Um, but uh, you know, usually if if uh, I'm going to be serious about a band, you know, and listening to them and trying to trying to help them, usually we. You know, we find them via the internet, or they get in touch with us that way. Well, that's great, uh, John. Looking forward to seeing you play April 5th in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and uh, it's going to be uh, totally I'm amazing to see this new uh, video process and you know the the big stage, Disturbed. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's going to be very cool. I think, uh, like I said, if you've ever seen Disturbed before, you're not going to be disappointed. This is going to be a brand new show for for even our older fans. I think they're really going to enjoy it. If you want a preview of it, go to disturb1.com, and there's some video clips that kind of give you an idea of, of uh, what it is that we're doing. Awesome. John Moyer, pleasure talking to you. Pleasure talking to you, too.